the pandemic continues to accelerate. With a global total of known coronavirus cases now at well over 16 million, the World Health Organization saying Monday, in just the past six weeks, the number of confirmed infections has roughly doubled. And that of the six global health emergencies to ever be declared, this current one... It's easily the most severe. One way out of the emergency, an effective vaccine. The biggest vaccine study in the world kicking off Monday in the U.S. An expected 30,000 volunteers, adults who do not have the virus, taking part in the American government-backed late-stage trial of Moderna's COVID-19 vaccine candidate. It'll take months for the results. Globally, more than 150 possible vaccines are now in various stages of development. Vietnam back on high alert after confirming its first community coronavirus infections since April. Cases confirmed in Da Nang, prompting a mass evacuation involving some 80,000 people from the tourist hotspot. Hong Kong reporting 145 new cases, setting a new daily record, announcing its toughest measures yet to contain the spread, including limiting gatherings to just two people. Facing what he calls the 10 most decisive days of summer, the leader of Spain's Catalonia region urging young people to stop partying amid a surge in new cases or else strict restrictions may be reimposed. Australia reporting its biggest daily spike with more than 530 new cases in Victoria State, where officials warn the current six-week lockdown may be extended. We have too many people who have symptoms and they are going to work. And what that means, even with mask wearing, even with hand hygiene, even with distancing, uh, that is an unacceptable risk in terms of transmitting this virus. That is what is driving these numbers up. And an update out of the U.S., home to the biggest known outbreak in the world. Donald Trump's national security advisor has tested positive for the coronavirus. Robert O'Brien is now the most senior White House official to test positive. He's said to have mild symptoms and is self-isolating. The White House says there's no risk of exposure to Trump or to the vice president. And another milestone in the pandemic, the global death toll now surpassing 650,000. Melissa Duggan, City News.